hi everybody um i was trying to do the video on my laptop but it didn't go as well um my lighting is severely off in my bedroom but i was coming to do an update because it's been about two weeks since i updated last time i updated was a live pregnancy test at 7 dpo well anyway as you've seen the test was negative and fast forward every test after that was indeed negative um i started progesterone around 8 dpo i stopped it at 12 dpo 8 9 10 11, 12, yeah 12 dpo and um i was waiting for af to start or a positive pregnancy test but nothing out of either one happened so I was just been sitting around, sitting around, worrying what's going on. And long story short, AF came today. So I am officially cycle day one. Yay! So the goal for this cycle is Clomid. I will be doing 100 milligrams of Clomid on days 5 to 100. Mm, 5 to 9, I'm sorry. And I did start back metformin, and I'll go more into that later. Uh, I'm still taking all my vitamins. I'm taking vitamin D, vitamin B12. I'm taking a baby aspirin a day. Um, I'm also doing folic acid. I'm doing prenatals. Yes, that's everything that I'm taking so far. Um, so, I do have a trigger shot, which I will be using at positive ovulation tests. And it's only 2,000 units, and I will be testing that out, and that shouldn't take no more than, like, maybe a week. Um, today, I went to my endocrinologist because I was still worried um, after I stopped progesterone that I still didn't receive my cycle. So, I went ahead and did my follow-up with her, even though I knew my blood work was all normal because I've seen my results beforehand. So, um... She was very, very happy about my blood work. She says everything was normal, which I already knew. Um, she said everything looked good. She said I do not have diabetes, which is awesome to hear because she always saying that I was pre-diabetic because my A1C was above a certain level. Now it's below that. She's saying I'm not diabetic. But um, for the extra facial hair, because I was like, you know, I I brought me a a, shade, a wax kit, and I have to um, review that for everybody to wax my face. And I was able to do, like, my mustache. I still have to do my chin and my cheeks on this side, but I did this side already, and it's so smooth. Um, so she put me back on metformin, and I told her metformin makes me severely sick, so... Um, she's going to put me on extended release. Now, I will say this. I started metformin last week, only 500 milligrams after dinner, and I tolerate it pretty well. So today, I was going to try to do 1,000 to see if I can tolerate 1,000 because I want to get myself up to, I want to do 1,500 if I can, but I may just keep it at 1,000 and go with that. And see how it goes because I am starting COVID. I want the metformin to basically help the COVID work, but my hormones are normal, so there's no issue there. Um, and I don't go back to February. My next blood work will be February, so I'm really ecstatic about that. I've been taking care of business because, if you know, I'll be moving next week. I signed my lease at my new apartment, and I'm very ecstatic about that too. So I've just been super busy. Um, as far as the family channel goes, I do have a lot of videos I need to edit and upload. Um, so those of you that have not subscribed, go over there. We have two good videos. One of Shania going to the dentist and one of us doing the nature trail at the park. And um, subscribe. Uh, the giveaway for the costume will be ending Monday. And the winner will be announced. I did say the first 50, but if I don't get the first 50 on there, I will still do the giveaway because I want the child to be able to get the costume before Halloween. I don't want it to be too late. So, all right then, ladies. Um, that's just about it. So, I will come back to y'all later on and give y'all an update on the, um, the Clomid cycle. 
hopefully I ovulate earlier, but I know 5 to 9 gives you a stronger egg. And I think that's what I need, a strong egg. Um, so, we'll see. I just have a good gut feeling about it, but I'm, I'm excited. This is a 52-day cycle, so it means that I probably ovulated a cycle to 37, um, which is very, very late. But it also could be I didn't ovulate at all, and my lining is just built up, and I'm having a breakthrough bleeding, so I'm not sure. So, all right, we'll see which one it is. Oh, well, we'll see, but I'm just happy, happy, happy. So, all right, everybody, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.